friends, we have a fun day planned for you all. But before we start, we have four rules to go over. Can you repeat these words after me? Rule number one is we will be good listeners. Good job. We make sure that we listen to our teachers. Rule number two is we will be kind to everyone around us. Awesome! Rule number three is we will have helping hands. Very nice! Let's all work together to help keep our classrooms clean. And lastly, we will have fun! Wait, I couldn't hear you. Can you say that really loudly with me? Ready? One, two, three! We, we will have, have fun. fun! Great job! Now let's jump into all the fun we have planned for today. Here we go! The Church Kids Show! <laughs> Hey church kids, we are in the month of October, which means it's mine monster busting time! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! There was one already! Oh! Can you all say go away mind monsters with me? Ready? One, two, three! Go, go away, away mind, mind monsters. monsters! Hey Tracy, uh, what is a mind monster? Well friends, a mind monster is a thought that you might have that isn't nice. Have you ever been scared, Charles? Uh, yes, I have. One time, I was going to bed, and I realized I don't like the dark, okay? It was a little spooky, so my heart started beating really fast, and I kind of felt like I might start crying oh, or something. Oh, no! What did you do? Well, I told my parents, and they prayed to Jesus that he would help me, and they also put a little nightlight in my room. Oh, that's great, Charles. The mind monster fear can be a real scary one. Mm. So is worry and being nervous, but Jesus can always help us. That's right. Tracy, you know what else could help us learn about mind monsters? What's that, Charles? The Mind Monster Book. Let's take a look. Mind monsters are here, mind monsters are there. If we take a closer look, we can see them everywhere. What is a mind monster? It's something we should know. That's why we are here. It's what we will show. Mind monsters are negative invaders of the mind. They prowl around daily, sneaking through any door they can find. Mind monsters don't care if you're a girl or a boy. They are after your peace. They want to steal your joy. But mind monsters aren't strong. They're actually quite weak. Their power is lost through the faith that we seek. Faith is our power and our partner is Christ. Together we can stop the mind monster thought heist. Faith is our protection. We have Jesus on our side. With him as our defender, Mind monsters will run and hide. The F in faith reminds us to focus on the positive. See the good in everything. That's the best way we can live. A is for affirm we're who God says we are. He created us to reign, to be a champion and a star. I reminds us to imagine God doing good things. He loves us more than anything. Only the best for us he brings. T is there to tell us to trust God with everything in life. We trust him when it's good. We trust him when there's strife. H is our reminder to hope for the very best. We do all that we can and believe God will do the rest. Faith defeats mind monsters and helps us guard our hearts. When we spot them quickly, we stop the heist before it starts. Faith assures our victory. Mind monsters don't have a chance. Now rise up and celebrate with a mind monster mashing dance. The end. A long time ago, the people of Israel, God's people, also called the Israelites, were terrified. <laughs> what the what? You see, Living right next door to them were some very mean people named the Midianites, who wanted to attack them and destroy everything they owned. Square up! 
the Israelites were living without food or shelter and were scared. Oh, I am both hungry and frightened. But God had a big plan for them. He chose a man named Gideon to help the Israelites. Gideon wasn't super big and strong, and he didn't have special fighting superpower abilities. In fact, Gideon was just a regular guy. But God knew that Gideon was the right person for this very important task. One day, an angel appeared to Gideon. Whoa, are you okay? Are you kidding? That felt amazing. Finally, got the itch on my back. Um, anyway, hey, Gideon, God wants you to help defeat the Midianites and save Israel. Whoa, me? Uh, I think you've got the wrong guy. I'm just a regular guy. In fact, I'm less than that. I'm the smallest in my family. Like I was saying, God is with you, mighty warrior. Shoot, well now that you say that, let's do this. So Gideon trusted God and gathered a bunch of people to make an army of 32,000 men and started marching toward the Midianites. But suddenly, right mid-marching, the Lord stopped Gideon and told them, Send home any men from your army who are afraid. So then, 22,000 men dropped their swords and ran, leaving Gideon with just 10,000 people in his army to fight the bad guys. Square up! Gideon and his army once again began marching to battle, and once again, God stopped Gideon and told him, Take your soldiers to the river for a drink. Keep those that use their hands to drink, and send home the ones that do not. Well, only 300 used their hands as a bowl to drink the water, while the rest went on their knees and put their faces in the river. So Gideon had only 300 warriors to face the Midianite army of 135,000. Talk about some bad odds. Really bad odds. But Gideon was not afraid because he knew what the angel had told him, that God would be with him. Even though he didn't feel like a mighty warrior, he believed what God had said about him and trusted him, even facing death. So when the Midianites were sleeping, Gideon and his men quietly surrounded the camp, each holding a torch and a trumpet. Gideon gave the signal, and the men held up their torches, sounded their trumpets, and yelled. They scared the Midianites so bad that they jumped up from their beds and just started fighting each other. So Gideon and his men stood back and watched as the Midianites completely destroyed themselves. Gideon was able to lead his men and the rest of the Israelite people to victory because he trusted God and what God said about him, that he was a mighty warrior. Do you remember how we defeat the mind monsters? We use faith. That's right. The F stands for focus. Can you say focus? Focus. The A stands for affirm. Can you say affirm? Affirm. I stands for imagine. Let's all say imagine. Imagine. And T stands for trust. Can you yell trust? Trust. And lastly, the H stands for hope. Everybody say hope. Hope. Man, that's a lot to remember. I'm not, I'm not sure I can get, I, I'm not sure I can get all those. Well, uh, let's see if Professor Cheeto can help us out. I've been informed there are some nasty things lurking around. Negative thoughts. My monsters. Well, my mind isn't just some pool party they can just splash around in. Not on my watch. It's time to take every thought captive Take it, get it now To make it obedient to Christ Take it captive to Christ, yeah, yeah Take every thought captive Take it, get it, take it, get it To make it obedient to Christ Second Corinthians 10, 5 Take every thought captive, yep yeah. Take every thought captive Captive to make it obedient Make it obedient, make it obedient Make it obedient, make it obedient Make it obedient Obedient to Christ. Second Corinthians 10 5. We take every thought captive. They can make it obedient to Christ. Take every thought captive. Second Corinthians 10 5. Take every thought captive. Make it obedient to Christ. Take every thought captive. Second Corinthians 10 5. Hey, you, yeah, you get out of my mind. My sorry, bro, is doing just fine. What you think you're doing? My thoughts gonna spit some verses that you lost God didn't give us a spirit of fear no. But of love, power, and a sound mind We're God's handiwork created in Christ To do good works, oh yeah, that's nice 
thought I finished, no I didn't First on one nice, let's work forgiven Time to get back to my living Find monsters, get out of my kitchen Winning is the thing I do When negative thoughts try to tell me what's true Recognize, reject, replace, betray Tell me how to get these minions out of your brain well, the time has come for you to demonstrate your plan of action when you encounter mind monsters again. Here we go. What you gonna do with your mind monsters? Take them captive, take them, take them captive. What you gonna do next with those monsters? Make them obedient to Christ. What you gonna do with your mind monsters? Take them captive, take them, take them captive. What you gonna do next with those monsters? Make them obedient to Christ. Make them obedient to Christ. Make them obedient, make them obedient, make them obedient, make them, make them obedient. Make it, make it obedient. Five. We take every thought captive to make it obedient to Christ. Take every thought captive. Second Corinthians 10 5. We take every thought captive. Second, make it obedient to Christ. Take every thought captive. Second Corinthians 10 5. Make it, make it obedient. Greetings, friends. We're going on a mind monster hunt. We've got to take them captive and make them obedient to Christ. However, there is some treacherous terrain ahead of us, so follow me and keep up. Run, run, run. Move to the right. Run, run. Duck, run, run, run. Move to the left. Run, run. Jump, run, run, run. Move to the right. Duck, jump. Move to the left. Run, run. Move to the right. Move to the left. Jump. Well done, friends. I think we're getting closer to some mind monsters, but we have a problem. This next area will require us to be airborne. So get your wings ready to fly. Flap, 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 fly to the right. Flap, flap, dodge, flap, 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 fly to the left. Flap, flap, double time, flap, 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 fly to the right. Flap, flap, dodge, flap. We appear to have flown into a gigantic storm. This wind is strong. I think we may be in for some spinning up ahead. Get ready. Here we go. Whoa. Wow. We're gonna get... That's a lot of wind. Whoa. It's spinning. It's spinning up. Careful. Try not to get knocked over. Whoa. Wow. We've made it back to land. And look, there's some mind monsters over there. Use your sneaky feet so they don't hear us. Sneak. 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 Sneak to the left. Sneak, sneak. Sneak to the right. Sneak, sneak. Wait. Sneak to the left. Sneak, sneak. Sneak to the right. Sneak to the left. Ah, we've gotten close enough to the mind monsters to catch them. It's time to take them captive and make them obedient to Christ. They'll cause too much damage if left alone in the wild. Follow me. Here we go. Catch, catch, catch. Move to the left. Catch, catch. Jump, catch, catch, catch. Move to the right. Catch, catch. Jump, catch, catch, catch. Move to the left. Jump, catch. Jump, catch, 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 catch. Jump, jump, catch, catch. Ah, congratulations, everyone. You caught a massive amount of mind monsters. Be sure to make all of them obedient to Christ and think positive thoughts. We'll see you next time. Being afraid is no fun, but remember all we have to do is have faith. Mm-hmm, that's right. We focus on the positive. Affirm we are who God says we are. Imagine God doing good things. Trust God in everything. And hope for the best. Woo, I am very winded from saying all of that. <laughs> Me too. Well, we'll see you next week. And don't forget, it's a great day to, to be a church, church kid! kid! Yay!